You call that parallel parking? It always makes me feel like this is what it'd be like if I were doing a solo trip. Park shops at nine, you'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. That squawking sound is um, Lee, who is currently getting ready. I think there might be a smudge on this camera, we need to sort that I'm out. ready! Oh, Christ, from me to death. So today, we are first of all gonna head down to Celebration, have a coffee, sit on the rocking chairs, just contemplate, get a bit of sunshine, since we've not had much Florida sunshine since we got back. What are we contemplating? <laughs> just contemplating um, coming something, back in, that, something, coming that's, back something, beep. That, something that's happening, now that's a separate beep, something that's happening, right now in the UK that Nikki is sorting out, which once confirmed we will trip feed you and then we will tell you in a later vlog three more plans that we have for this year. So stay tuned for that. And then after that we're going to go to Epcot and meet some of our friends and we're possibly going to have uh, food at Nine Dragons. I know we've done it to death but Nine Dragons is the best Chinese in the world. Ooh. I stand by what I said. And, it it is, be, well, and it's cheap for Disney, it's cheap. It might be the best, the, the last time we go there. We stop keep saying things like that. This holiday. We have, it is Wednesday, we fly home on Monday. We are on our last five days after an epic five weeks. It's been brilliant. That has, as memories are flooded with experiences and, and things like that. And I know when we get back to the to the lodge, we are gonna be in absolute, we're gonna need therapy for We've holiday blues. We've got thought out when we get home though. We do. Uh, but when we get back to the lodge, which will be back end of next week, we will basically be d depressed. I'm ready. So, but we do have another countdown. You call that parallel parking? So I have to assist Lee, because Lee can't parallel park. How he passed his test, I've no idea. First time, with assistance of me telling him when to turn the wheel and when to swing back. So we're going to go and now have a cup of coffee and have a, have a mooch on the front of Celebration and make the plans for the rest of our trip here for the next five days. We really need to come down here at night. Should have listened to me last night, because look at all these lights going down the street. I bet they're all lit up on a night. Find a restaurant then. And I bet these lampposts will come down with Chris and Jen over the next couple of nights. Only if you find a restaurant. There's a restaurant right corner, up to right and to left, and there's one there as well. What marketplace down there? Restaurant and, and wine shop. I'll leave you to plan this. Okay. But I don't expect it in the vlogs lodges. Mm. Unfortunately, it's quite busy. There's no um, rocking chairs left. So we're going to have to sit on... Where are you off? You're for a swim? Ooh, watch out for alligators. Green and slimy. Yeah, it's a bit breezy today actually, but it's a beautiful temperature. So that's where we're thinking we might eat. There's some um, restaurants down there. I think there's a Mexican jimba. There you go. Um, so we'll definitely come down here because I imagine it's really beautiful down here at night. Keep saying it, and you just did not listen to me. There's another cafe there, Cafe D'Antonio. There's plenty of places. So Chris and Jen flying tonight at 9pm, as long as they don't fly through any storms and get diverted for two hours again. Which will stress me out, I'm sure about it. <laughs> Every time they get on a plane there's something, there's some crisis, either they miss the plane or they, they, they're like minutes away from it. They're at work, they're working all day long, which oh. would stress me out, they're That's not flying until later. And Chris doesn't pack until the last minute. That stresses you out, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> the whole trip stresses me out. So they're going on the night. internet whilst they're on the flight and tell me that they're having problems and that stresses me out. So I sit there like panicking and they're just sat there sort of flying. So anyway, we're going to get pizzas and chicken, yeah. aren't we? And we thought we might stop at Aldi because we've never stopped at an Aldi. We've never been in an Aldi in the US before. So we thought we'd uh, have a look what it's like. Show you guys in the UK what a uh, uh, USA Aldi looks like. We're going to get snacks and things so that when they come to the door tonight, there's going to be beers, snacks, and if they want to get in the hot tub, they can get in the hot tub. So that will be nice. So we're just going to have a little chill here at Celebration, then go meet our friends in Epcot. Coffee, please. Yeah, you managed to get some chairs. They're not rocking chairs, but it's the next best thing. I'll make you rock. <laughs> Come on then, I'll rock, rock you back. There. Reet! We're on our way to Epcot. Reet! Which feels ages since we were in a park in Florida. Because we've been away for a week or so. Just need sun to come out now. Yeah, it's nice and warm today. The, the temperature is perfect. It's about 26 degrees. Is it? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's really nice and it's not humid or anything. It's perfect. Um, so, I am quite peckish. Naturally. 
So I'm looking forward to Nine Dragons. I love it there. And can you believe Vera, one of our friends who lives in Cocoa Beach, we're meeting today, has never been to um, Nine Dragons. But she doesn't think she has. Well, I'm sure she'll remember it when she gets in if she Oh has. yeah, you'll definitely remember it. It's not something, it's not the kind of experience you forget. And it's probably, I think it's the cheapest restaurant in Disney for like tables, food. It's a hidden it's gem. It's probably not, but it's, it's, it's nice. It's a hidden gem. Um, so I shall enjoy that. Right, let us get to Epcot. Right, I've got through bag check and Nick's buggered off um, through um, the annual pass holders entrance already, I'm, I'm presuming. So when Nick goes ahead, when I'm in bag check, and then I get a little five minutes to myself, it always makes me feel like this is what it'd be like if I were doing a solo trip. I think I could quite enjoy it actually. Especially if I was vlogging, so I had something to focus on. But uh, I just do what I want when I want. Hi, Nick, if you're watching. <laughs> He's there. <laughs> and that's why I want to do a solo trip. <laughs> Hi, sweet pea. Happy to be back with you. Right, Lee's gone to the toilet, so I'm going to give you a bit of an update. So, this fence now actually encompasses everything right round from the land right round the the, um, the structure at the front and basically blocks off access from Spaceship Earth into the main park. You either have to go left or right and round the back of the buildings. It's getting a bit much now. I mean, I understand that they've got to do it, but surely they can do it in phases rather than blocking it all off. Right, it's a lovely chilled day at Epcot so far. It's not busy. No, it's warm. It's getting it's a bit windy. humid now though. And we're hungry. I can feel my back sweating a bit. Your top lip's shiny. <laughs> We just met some lodgers and his lip was listening in the lodgers. sun. Uh, they're in front of us actually. Uh, so thanks for saying hello guys. They're from Toronto. Uh, they said it's very um, cold where they come from. So they come down here. Come down here. But it only takes them two and a half hours to fly here. Which it did for us. So we're heading to the UK where we shall be this time next year, next week actually. Oh, in the real UK. Reminding me. Heading to the UK where our friends Vera and Kate and, and Destiny Devo. and Devo are. So uh, then uh, hopefully it won't be too long before we're getting snacks. Right, we're heading into the Rose and Crown pub. That's where our friends are. How nice of them to come to England for us. Oh, we've got drinks in. <laughs> right, we're just have, checking out the art. Now, we've had a, a nice drink at the uh, Rose and Crown. I think they've got a sale on it. The prices seem to have changed. The prices do seem to be a lot better now. Uh, I absolutely love that one. That's $950. Don't match the lodge. Doesn't match the lodge, unfortunately, but this is my favourite. I absolutely love oh, this love one. Um, we saw this one last time. $950. It's got 18 Epcot elements and 35 hidden Mickeys. It's got all the worlds from Epcot and the Epcot bought um, that one from Illuminations. That is my favourite. This is my favourite booth this year of the Arts Festival. Not too keen on that one. But I, uh, this one would match the lodge. Whistling Willie. I'm sure that said $28,000 the last time in, in the video, but it's actually $1,450. I really like that. This one had matched the lodge, Nick. It had matched the lodge, that Mickey one, whistling thingy me about. If you look through your phone on this one, Lee, you can see what it is. Can you tell? I need to get further away. Right, so we've wandered around from the UK. We're now in Morocco. And they've got a belly dancer on. I think everybody. Are you wobbling your belly because you're hungry or because. You want to belly dance? Can you belly dance? No, we can't. No, we can't. I've got a belly, but I can't dance it. Because it's Devo's first time at Epcot, he wants a photo on the lizard bench. Nick's looking around for lizards. <laughs> so this is the lizard bench where Nick screamed. It's the first one next to um, that structure. Under the, it's it's actually a Nikon picture spot, the Lodge Guys Lizard Bench. So down here in Epcot at the um, the stadium, they're doing Animation Academy at the minute, which is like the thing that me and Nick did in um, Animal Kingdom, where you learn to draw. 
So it looks like they're learning to draw Winnie the Pooh today yeah. down there. So that's good. Right, Nick's having a grapefruit beer. One thing I've just learned, apparently, if you get the grapefruit beer and you get it from the outside, it's yeah. actually 50 cents more expensive than getting it from behind the um, the thing inside. So go inside and get it. Oh, and some mac and cheese as well. For That's the one we had the other day. Yeah, it's we nice that. One. Yeah. Award winning mac and cheese. So we're place. walking along this way and we'll eventually end up at uh, Nine Dragons for lunch. Right, we're just coming to the shop at side of the Christmas shop in Germany and it's a whole wall full of Werther's. You think they're catering for the older generation? Oh, no, chewable ones, caramel sugar free, caramel apple filled. What's this? Toffee oh, toffee fee. Fee. Toffee Fay. Toffee Fay uh, bars, yeah. yeah. And uh, all different flavours. And over here, they've got Werther's um, popcorn. This looks really nice. Uh, where's that one? Look at this. Uh, where's it gone? I had one a minute ago. I think somebody's just taken it. Oh, there we go. It's got loads of chocolate on. Werther's popcorn. They are $8.99 or oh, $9.99 with extra things. Love a good Werther's. Right, the appetizers have turned up and Lee just kindly offered to share. Yeah. I thought we were sharing. Well, if you want. I don't want, I'm having one. We've never had spin rolls in We have never had a star at Nine Dragons. So these guys have got similar things on their tables as well. So go on, give us the verdict. What does it taste like? Five. Oh, that's cheaper than the food books outside. Nice, dense pastry. Nice filling. Right, I'm pausing the camera so I can try. I'm trembling, the food's here, it looks absolutely delicious. Like, I'm being served, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Regular honey, honey sesame. Yeah, honey sesame. And I've got this spicy one. So the spicy one's a little bit darker. And that one's mine. Oh my god. It looks better every time I order it. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, that's better about yours is you've got broccoli. I prefer broccoli. Do you want to swap? No, thank you. That makes you wee smell of asparagus. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Right, we're walking to the front of the park because um, we have a fast pass for Soaring, but we're just going to go this way so these guys can get the annual pass. The whole of this area now is blocked off. So you've got to either go right round that way or right round this way. So every time you come to Epcot, it's all it's all different, isn't it? Every time you come. Today we've got to go into a future world or into the land to get into World Showcase. Yeah. So just be prepared for a change every time you come. Right, Nick, go on, um, go on up there. Go on, Nick, go on. Go on, go on, see what she does to you. I don't see anybody waiting. <laughs> go to this one now. There you go. Oh, yes. Wait, you would move too quick. <laughs> I'm already going to do it. I'm about to like touch you. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Vera's got a new friend now. We're going to leave her there. Let go we won't let go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Park shots at nine. You'll be fine. <laughs> I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> Right, before our fast pass with uh, uh, on Soarin', which is starts in 10 minutes, we're going to go to uh, Crusher's Talk or something like that it's called. Because on, when our uh, video came out on the cruise, and we were really impressed with the Crush talking thing on the in Animator's palette, yep. we didn't realise that they have the same kind of thing here at Epcot. We've only been to Epcot like a thousand times, but never yeah, realised. we avoid kids stuff, but yeah, that was quite fun because we're having a meal. It's not something we would choose to do, but... Yeah. But now we know it's here, so we're going to give it a go. These guys, apart from DVO, has never been before, have, have already done it. So they're going to take us on it and, and then uh, we'll see what it's about. And then DVO's going to ride for it, saw him for the first time ever. ever. In fact, it's his first ever Disney ride yeah. ever. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, this is, this is his first experience of a Disney kind of ride. It's not a ride, is it? I guess it's a show, this? Uh, not really. I don't mean, know. We'll see in a minute. This is the Nemo ride, anyway. This is the Nemo ride, yeah. Oh, right. We're going on the Nemo ride, too, because... Um, has he seen the film? We're just Diva's breaking not. In, we're breaking him in slowly. Devo's not seen many Disney films either. Even worse than Nick. Of all the rides in Disney, Devo's first time. <laughs> Devo, are you excited for your first ever Disney ride? You've picked the best one ever, Nemo. <laughs> You're excited too, Nick. Yeah, can you not tell with the enthusiasm in your face? You look like you've got a sports bra on now, holding your moves up. 
Are you giddy? Are you excited? I am. I'm like to pop Are you guys giddy? Yes! <laughs> it's quite cute round this, I like it. Well, it's alright. It's good when you get to the end and this is the real um, aquarium. The one that we thought with like visual effects? You thought it was. So did you. Like you only smaller? Yes, have you seen them? Seen who? Hi, I'm Dory. Stop playing games! Games? I love games! Ooh, I'm thinking of fish and friends. Okay. Delicious. Headed into Turtle Talk with Crush. See how this compares to the uh, the cruise. Hey there, everybody. Are you excited, Nick, for it to talk to you? Yeah. Diva, what did you think to your first ride? That was absolutely crazy. Like I'm actually like blown away by that. And that's apparent. My like, thought. Like, low tier. My reaction was, he must be thinking. Really? <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Don't look at it. What 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 do you think that looks like, Nick? <laughs> What <laughs> No, it's a right. jellyfish. It's a jellyfish. A sea I'm sure I've seen that in a cycling movie or something. I'm sure you have seen it. Oh, you're the dude! Well, I said, oh, well, you're the dude! Say the word! Oh, this is just. This is just cool. Oh, oh, whoa, look at all these cute little dooders down there. So, oh, dude. Doing good, buddy? No, it's nice. Hey, man, can you talk like a turtle? Can you say totally? That was awesome. <laughs> No offense, dude, but I think me and Sandy just shared a moment. <laughs> what a great family, dude. They were totally cool. And you know what? That's why I'm here. Did you like that? That was actually quite good, actually. Nice, you were actually nice. laughing. I like, know. Enjoying it. Well, it's funny you said um, I can do bubbles, and then you were like, fine. <laughs> it was good, actually. It did remind me of animated palette. Yeah, it was really good. Definitely. So we're now on to soaring. We're gonna get Diva on to soaring for the first time and uh, hopefully lose his Disney virginity. Hopefully enjoy it. Well, he just did on uh, Nemo. No, that's not a Disney ride. And then we're out of the park to go to Aldi. Right, we're boarding and um, either Diva wants to go to the toilet or he's jigging around from, from giddiness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited for him being excited. <laughs> we're on, we're getting ready to board. Are you excited, Devo? I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's freaking What did you think? First reaction. This is amazing. Right. So imagine that in 3D, riding a horse. Oh, that's what flight passage is. Right. We're in the Epcot Experience Center that's showing you what the rides are going to be like. I think they've actually updated this, to be honest, because the last time we were in here, I think these um, these projections were slightly different. So we're actually killing time now. Um, we're going to go and ride Frozen, but we um, we've got. An hour to wait. An hour to wait. So we're going to go, I'm going to have a mocktail from um, Mexico. And I'm going to have a real, real uh, margarita. Yeah. Right, we're off onto the Grand Fiesta tour. Because we're trying to show Devo as many things as we can, can't we, for his we're first time. Him. Yeah. So we've not been on this one for a while. And then when we've done that, I'm going to have a margarita. And I'm going to have a mocktail. I should have shown Devo's meal earlier because he's vegan. He had vegan at the Nine Dragons. He had tofu. Uh, it looked quite nice, actually. That's the scene. Mm. Nice walk on ride, thank goodness. Straight on. I really want to try this restaurant. I want to try this restaurant. The... Next time we come, whenever that may be. <laughs> we know when it's going to be. We'll try this restaurant for definite, yeah? Yes. Right. Definitely. I'm going to put that on a to-do list. When we have one, 
we'll try this restaurant. I don't know yeah, why I like this, because it's like small world. You like this, right? Well, it's all right, yeah. It's not like small world, is it? Well, it is, it but is, we are song. It is, but we don't have the annoying song and a lot better graphics. Right, we've done that ride. Nick's got a uh, frozen margarita from Mexico. My favourite. As I'm driving, I've gone for the Congo mocktail, which is quite nice actually. It's a like a Mexican fruit punch. Slush puppy. Yeah, but it's quite nice actually. Um, it's six dollars, um, which um, not quite as tall as the margaritas. But it's quite nice and refreshing. Uh, Nick's getting his Instagram shot there, and then we're just killing time now until we get into um, Frozen Ever After. And it's just lovely today, isn't it? The weather's nice, it's not too hot. Well, the sun's gone down now, but it's a bit overcast, but it's, it's about 26 yeah. degrees, it's nice and warm. There's no queues for so anything. Quiet. The guys are here, Vera and Kate, How's and it's just mm. nice, nice and chilled. Heading out of the park, we're going to go to a supermarket and get some uh, food for when Chris and Jen arrive. Their flight should be taking off in about 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully they're not delayed like they were last time, although typically there is a big storm over Texas, so hopefully that doesn't delay them. There's the Epcot ball all lit up. Maybe the last time we see it this trip. So, just waiting for Nick to get, his, get a move on. Come on, get a move on, we've got to get to the supermarket. Right, we're just about to pull into Aldi, our wow. first American Aldi experience. How very exciting. So, uh, we're hoping we're going to get all the food here that we need for when Chris and Jen arrive. If not, we're going to Walmart. Well, we're going to need pizzas, so I imagine we'll be able to get Well, it. I would like to get some cooked chicken if we can get it. Well, just get us in there. We're not going to Walmart, we're going to Aldi. Only if they've got everything. So the vlogs just got went to an entirely new level of excitement. Yay. I'm just saying the vlogs have just gone to another level of excitement. Yay. Yeah, we heard you say that. I know, and I heard you what you said, but you said it twice. Right, we've come across our first snag. I don't think we have a dollar for the trolley. <laughs> well, do they have a dollar coin? Uh, well, it's definitely like the UK. Uh, oh, have you got any money on you? No. 25 cents. Uh, there was some change. That were in old car. So, it looks nothing like Aldi at home at all. What are you looking at? Well, just stuff that they've got. I do want a snack, actually. I can't wait until... Uh, uh, ooh, pretzels. Oh, that'll do nicely. Cream pretzel dip. Um, Come on, we're having to um, carry everything because they don't do baskets. So, what are we going to get? Pizza. What about so some salad pizza. to go with pizza? Well, I'm not making a salad. It's certainly more spacious than uh, UK Aldi's. That's for sure. Is it the same kind of not much choice. bread and stuff? No. It's very different. Isn't Bagel it? skinnies. Ooh. It's going to be different, isn't it? But yeah, we need some. We need some um, crisps. Ooh, they've got layers. Don't think uh, they sell walkers back in the UK. Oh, well, I'll get some. Um, Nacho cheese flavoured tortilla chips. Not very good doing this without a, a, what, a, what is it? A basket. Right, so we've got what we needed, thankfully. Uh, nibbles, pizzas. Did you get any um, pineapples to go with pizza? No. Shall I go and get some quickly? Quickly, quickly. Right, we're back from Aldi. Forty-seven dollars for all that. Um, five pound forty-nine for a sixteen-inch pepperoni pizza. Sorry, five dollars forty-nine, which I thought was an absolute bargain. A little bit more than what I actually thought it might do, might be. 
Um, one of the advantages of Aldi as well is they had they actually had chicken breasts sold in twin packs. Whereas over here, we struggle to get that. And you go to Walmart, you buy chicken breast and it's like 12 in a pack. Not that we bought any. Not that we bought any. So just, just remember, um, take 25 cents a dollar. Yeah. 25 cents coin. Yeah. Or your own bag, whichever. Or what? Or your own bag. No, no, you can't take your own bag around the supermarket. Why not? You can in the UK. Or two bags to pack one in. Never mind. Anyway, get on with that washing, you. So, we're just preparing the villa for when Chris and Jen arrive. They're actually an hour away from landing. Um, the spa's heating up and the pool's on and I've got the outside fan on. It's quite hot outside tonight, so we're probably going to eat outside. Um, and we're just having a bit of a tidy round because we've scruffed it up in the last few days. Not, not scruffed it up, but just left... Up. Yeah, you haven't washed up, basically. Yeah, okay. uh, so, um, the wine, when uh, It's there. Help yourself. As we are waiting for Chris and Jen, Nick has got some new patrons to say hello to. Hello to Dominic. Hi Dominic. Hello to David Mann. Hi David. Hello to Maria Pass. Hi Maria. Uh, hello to Connor Lynch. Hi Connor. And hello to Stephen Chatterton. Hi Stephen. Thanks guys, I know I'll be emailing you shortly. Um, that's looking very nice out there. I'm just awaiting my glass of red wine still. Air cons, come on. Uh, it's still a bottle. Yeah, so I noticed. I'll go now, get it myself then. Lazy swine. Nick's having a panic. He just went outside and then I heard him screech like a girl. There's a big fucking lizard there. Big, there's no big about it. Exactly. Don't you let it in, it goes running. Hello. Oh yeah, it's gonna answer you. Hello. Get out there. It's tiny. It's not tiny, it's eating someone, it's a big fatty. Hello. Oh. 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 Look cute! Where's it gonna go now? It wants to come in. Well, it's not bloody coming in. Where's it gonna go? I'm not going out there unless that's gone. <laughs> it wants to get in the hot tub, yeah. You need to, well, it's gonna go into chuffing pole if, it don't, if you don't sort it out. You? Where's it gone? <gasps> it's, I thought it was going in the door then. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> if it bloody well does, that bathroom's sealed. I hate them. They're so cute. What are you going to do? I'm just having a quick look. They can jump, you know. <laughs> it's, it's right alert. Well, it will be when there's some big ugly are you sure thing it's trying to knock on it. So are you sure it's one of those normal lizards? Well, what else would it be? Poor thing, I've been wondering what's happening. Ooh. <laughs> right, Jen and Chris will be here very shortly. They've landed. They're at Manchester. Manchester. I, I always call it Manchester Airport because it's. Well, it's, every airport, Manchester. No, it's because it's, cause it's MCO, is the call sign. Not call sign, whatever. Airport uh, sign. And that's what, and what's that to do with Manchester? Well, MCO sounds like Manchester. No, it doesn't. Man sounds like Manchester. Can you get the pizza in, please, and salad yeah. done? You keep an eye on that thing. Right. Right, guys. We're going to finish the vlog. <laughs> they're taking the mic out because I'm going to say the right again. The piss, they're the piss. Um, Jen and Chris are here. Jen's there. Chris is... It's been hours since the last update. We've been having pizza and chatting. Yeah. Um, there's Chris. Um, so we're going to finish the vlog and then um, you'll see them more tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button below to put lodger. Hit the like button, click the notification bell. Drop us a comment. Nick will reply. I'm off to bed. You look knackered. I am knackered. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we might go to Hollywood Studios to take these guys on no, Smuggler's Run. Yes? Yeah, That's not tomorrow. Yes? Yeah, Universal tomorrow. Oh, whatever. You'll see tomorrow. Bye! Bye.